Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our French Orchards map here. And uh, just coming back from dropping off some tomatoes. And a little bit of money. Technically made a profit yesterday, so there's that, I guess. That, that helps a little bit. But we're getting ever so closer to being able to harvest our next set of grapes. We'll obviously keep an eye on the tomatoes, lettuce, and eggs uh, as time goes by. But uh, hopefully the combination of all of those things together will net us some decent profits when it's all said and done. Like I said before, I think I, I would like to do potentially some sheep at some point. We're, we're a little ways away from that, though. And of course, we still want to get olives down. Lots of goals. We are home. Vines are looking all right over there. How much more time we got till we can harvest? One more month, September. Uh, assuming we, assuming it counted at the beginning of um, March for planting. Um, this is the first time we haven't had to actually replant them. So I don't know exactly when it triggers, but assuming Mar uh, September. But uh, let's see here. It's interesting. Olives only can, can only be harvested one month of the year. What was I going to check real quick? Check all these things. Water's mostly okay. Uh, tomatoes. Yeah, mostly okay. Um, any equipment we care about? Nope. Nothing. Any... Let's check the... Uh, yeah, we're, we're at the final stage it looks like, so... Definitely should be getting stuff ready for next month. If we can even afford the um, the uh, harvester. We may have to sell some crops and some eggs and stuff at suboptimal prices just to be able to afford the harvester. Speaking of prices, eggs, terrible price. Lettuce. Okay, well, the eggs is above average, so maybe not terrible prices. It's probably inaccurate. Lettuce is almost average. Tomatoes is, well, going back up apparently, but below average. So, so I got some time to wait. How y'all doing, chickens? Doing all right. Just keeping on, keeping on. How many eggs do y'all have? Well, we have started to fill out that last section over there. That's nice. All right. Let's keep an eye on the prices. Four fifty thousand four. I mean, it's not terrible. I kind of feel like we just wait till next month though and see if we can get a good price next month when we really need the money. These aren't great prices. They're, 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 they're okay. They're acceptable prices, maybe, if we absolutely had to sell the stuff. But definitely are better prices out there. And I suppose we only have to sell enough to afford the harvester and the trailer. So I guess there's two things. Which is actually, the price would have changed by now, right? So what is the price of the harvester now? It's still 12000 So you know, it, it may have changed a uh, in how it does the math, but it's still a very big chunk of money. So 12342 and then um, for the trailer. I was looking at something else. Um, the trailer, 841 So... A little over 13,000 bucks is what we're going to need. Well, we'll get it. Give it one more day. See what the prices look like tomorrow. And we'll just, and we have the money. Well, even once you take out the loan interest, we're going to be borderline. We might sell a little bit of stuff. Maybe not a ton, but we're going to sell something, I think. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and, 
fast forward the good old fashioned way just to get us to tomorrow. No reason to sit here and wait all day. I think 6 a.m. is actually starting to get pretty bright up. So we'll go ahead and go to that. Okay, or it could be raining and we could not be able to harvest. Hopefully the rain stops here. And it says, I think the fact that it's sunny means it'll stop within the next six hours. So here's hoping it'll stop soon. And it was dark at 6 a.m. Felt like yesterday when I fast forwarded through the night, like manually, it started getting lighter sooner. Maybe the rain's affecting it. Alright, well, we can't do anything with the crops until the rain lets up. Let's check some prices. Eggs. Really bad price. Um, lettuce. I saw grape juice and I was like, oh my goodness, the lettuce. Um, lettuce. Really bad price. Tomatoes. Really bad price. Of course, when we need to sell them, we're going to have bad prices all around. Well, let's fast forward until the rain stops. Can't do anything until then anyway. How are the grapes looking? They are there. Ready to harvest. Once the rain stops, we will have to... Uh, we have technically just enough money to go ahead and get everything we need without having to sell anything. Just yet. Come on, rain. Surprised you're not cleaning off my tractor for me. How muddy it still is. Come on. Prices. And I know we're not at the month that y'all are good yet. But come on. How's the water? Getting pretty low. We probably should do some water here. In fact, which is funny to say with it raining right now, but <laughs> it's pretty accurate. Uh, no, we can't do water until we harvest, I think. Uh... I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, we're going to need some more money at some point anyway. I don't think the harvesting, waiting for the harvest or one way or the other is... Oh, there we go. It, still hear the rain audio, but it appears to have stopped. There we go. There's the rain audio gone. Well, let's go get some water. Fill these things up real quick. Cost a bit of money, but we will, uh, like I said, we'll just have to sell some crops. We we're going to have to do it now. We're going to do it later. It doesn't really matter. Um, anything on the market? Nope. Nothing that helps us. All right, which thing is the closest to the price that we care about? Eggs are not. Well, I say that. 1120 is the average. 1102 at the bakery. And then lettuce is 847. Way below average. And you're pretty far below average as well. I mean, you're probably the closest, maybe. I may just sell the eggs and just move on with it. About half it here, half it over there. All right, all of our things are happy now. Chickens are doing okay, I hope. Uh, where are they at? It is about halfway, but we, we should be fine for now. Okay, well, let's uh, sell some eggs, I guess. 
And I guess we're going to sell them to the uh, bakery. Is that what I said? The bakery. It's right about average for the egg, so it's not terrible. <laughs> I'm sure those straps are not cracking all the eggs right now, but it's just funny. All right, where is the bakery? Let's slow down time a little bit just to make sure we can get there. Is that way up there? That's oh, pretty close, actually. I have no idea how much this is going to sell for. It may sell for 1500 bucks, and that's it for all I know. I don't remember the math on eggs. I mean, 1500 bucks would technically be enough to rent the piece, two pieces of equipment we need, I guess. So there is that. What is that noise? Why are we hearing an air raid siren? Okay. Uh, a little weird. Apparently, we're under attack. By hot air balloons. All right, how do we get into this bakery? Guessing around back somewhere. Maybe up here. Looks like. I see it. Uh, we're just going to drop these off here, I'm assuming. Or not. Oh, there they go. Or did they? Oh, really? <laughs> Did those not sell? I'm confused why these aren't... What is going on? Did they fall... They're all over there. What in the world? Is this not the bakery? Surely we don't go over there, do we? Oh, this must be the output of the bakery. That's what that is. Um, can we pick these back up? All right. So let's come over here to the, I mean, normally you don't go to the tipper spot, but I guess in this case you do. I'm hoping. Yeah, there they go. Looks like it's going to be about 1500 bucks. 1619. Okay. So, all right, fair enough. I mean, so each It's not like a thousand liters, but it's a thousand units of whatever the eggs are, a thousand uh, it was at 1500 units. And it's about a thousand bucks, uh, a little bit over a thousand bucks per unit so that makes sense that we got about 1600 bucks so okay well now we know how the eggs sell but we do have enough money for the uh for the uh harvester now and trailer
Make sure I'm going the right way. I'm gonna get up to the store over here. Drop this trailer off for now. I'll grab the other trailer. Uh, let's go ahead and grab them real quick. Um, just double checking. We need you. Lease. Oh, so expensive. And then we need you. Lease. Uh, hook you, grab this other trailer real quick. Have you start following us over there. Or go on the road, I guess. I'm going to go off-roading. Let's get you to over here. Race you. <laughs> all right now we get to see how much all that fertilization all that other effort how much of a difference that actually makes the very first vine on the far left should be our best and the one on the far right should be our worst and we'll just grab maybe one or two in the middle and see what they look like kind of a uh, See if we can figure out if how much of that effort. I mean, based on the numbers, the percentages we were seeing, I expect a pretty decent difference, but. Oh, wow. He actually almost beat us. He does drive faster than us. All right. Uh, turn on a harvester. What were we getting before? Like a thousand? Or almost a thousand liters, I think? Oh no, we weren't getting that much, were we? How much were we getting? I don't remember. I'll have to go back and look at the, the videos. Why does it feel like we're getting way less? Those purple flowers look like grapes. I was like, no, no, drop my, don't drop my grapes. Now this this seems pretty accurate, right? Because we did like five back and forths, or or maybe four or something like that, and we then we turned it in or something. I can't remember. So five ninety six. I'm actually gonna write this down. Five ninety six. Um, and we'll go from there. This next one should be pretty close. I mean, if we're close to 1,200 when we're done with this, that, that tells us these were basically more or less equivalent. I mean, 
literally right on the money. Literally exactly what we were looking for. Wow, that's impressive. So those two rows were at the exact same number of grapes. To, to the grape. Um, let's go over to this other side. Let's check this real quick. This is the one we expect to be the worst. I mean, anything close to 1,800 is is impressive. You have it right. Like, this is the bad one. Now, this is the one that's not... Oh, no, it's the one couple in. I think that's the one I'm thinking of. So, I don't think this one was fully fertilized. Does look like we're gonna get less though. Yeah, we're gonna get quite a bit less. We're at 1700 exactly. So we were almost a hundred liters short on that run. Um, if it had been exact number, we would have hit um, 16, 1788. So we're 88 liters short. Okay, fair enough. And then let's try the one for sure that we know that's not plowed over here. Let's see, it's gonna be one of these in the middle here. Like this one. Nope, one over. This one. Yeah, it looks like this, this one will be good. I don't know. I'm thinking this will be more than the... Well, I actually don't know. That one on the far left was actually mo fairly decent. I think it had a little bit of plowing done. I really don't have a number for this. Um, anything over 2200 is not terrible. Yeah. 2246. That's not terrible. Um, that means we got 546 liters off of that. We were 50 liters short from that very first row. All right, where's one of the... Let's get one of the rows that was like... Um, I did like just the middle, like down the middle of... I think it's one of these over here, right? But everything else is the same. Like fertilization and everything else should be the identical. Like right here, maybe? Yeah, this looks good. I just went down the middle of the rows. I mean, at this point, 27. And if we hit 2,800, that would be impressive. I don't know if we're going to hit 28. Well, we might. It's hard to tell. It's getting close. Now oh, we got it, right? Right? 28. Oh, wow. 2842. 
Um. If my math is right, if we had done four more grapes, we would have done 600 on that, which means it was at 596. So this row right here, that the most that we did was go right down the middle, but everything else was the same, had the exact same number of grapes as the one that we had to go both sides to get the best. So there you go, guys. Unless I did it wrong, and we'll do another experiment on another one of these in a second. Let me go drop this off. Um, unless I did something wrong, I think you can go right down the middle and you're fine. It had the literally the exact same number of grapes. All right, I'm gonna grab this guy a little bit closer. That's, that's good news, though. I was really hoping you didn't have to go down both sides. It just seems tedious uh, for no reason. If it was easy, like if you didn't run into the sticks like every five feet, then fine. I, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But the fact that you can run into the sticks so much makes it incredibly tedious to try to get that close, you know, the entire run. All right, let's do this one right in front of us because this one should be the same type of thing where I only did the outer edges just to make sure. So 596 is our is our target. That really is good news, though. I was really getting worried that, I mean, grapes already are fairly tedious, but that's that's okay for the most part. I mean, this part right here is not bad. Um, it takes a little bit of time, but it's not that big of a deal. Having a stick right next to those sticks and hitting them and, you know, getting your tractor stuck and everything like that, not ideal. Okay, yeah, there you go. Yeah, go right down the middle, guys. Do not even worry about making it look perfect unless you just are bored and feel like it. I mean, you still want to do some plowing and you still want to do um, fertilization. But other than that, everything else is looking pretty good. All right, we're going to put a cut in there. When we come back, we will finish up these grapes and start making something. Grape juice or raisins. Probably grape juice. I don't, still don't like raisins. And I got a phone call from my cousin in America. He's not ready for the raisins yet. He's not even close to making cereal. I don't know. He's kind of a noob when it comes to making doing farm stuff. And yes, I realize that's like a, a 2010 word. <laughs> we're in the 2020s, guys. What's the new word for, for, for someone who's very inexperienced at something? I don't know. I'm old. I have to I have to be delayed in my uh, up with the wordness. But anyway, he says he's not ready. I think he's just. I don't, I don't think he knows what he's doing. So hopefully he gets ready soon and we can start making him some raisins. But for now, we're probably going keep, to keep with the grape juice. But anyway, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to our first channel member ever, Tel Renar. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.